in your culture is it a celebrated and revered concept that family is supposed to come before everything it is in the Appalachian culture blood is thicker than water it basically it just means that family is more important than anything else the reason I'm talking about this is because I come across a page by a Puerto Rican girl who had this catchy quote that probably a lot of people thought wow that's heavy and good and expresses some really great things went like this familia lo más importante family is the most important thing so again I ask you it culturally is this your attitude on things it seems like a nice thing but how about when it comes to emotional health and abuse of families how about when it comes to your emotional health and family your whole family not just your parents but your extended family is the cause of you being emotionally unhealthy and family is the thing keeping you from becoming healthy how about then is family still the most important thing well at some point I had to make a decision myself about family and uh, it wasn't an easy decision because in my culture when you don't put family first it's considered an utter betrayal nobody thinks good things about you <laughs> for doing it and it's considered an absolute and total betrayal by the whole family so I shouldn't say that it was a hard decision for me to make it was just an unpleasant decision it was a decision I did not enjoy making but what I did was I looked at my situation once I truly understood where all of my emotional unhealth had come from, this where my emotional disorder had been born, I began to see plainly all the unhealthy aspects of my not just immediate family, but my larger family. I asked myself, what is most important to me? And the conclusion I reached was that nothing was more important than me being emotionally healthy. Nothing was more important than that. Because unless you're emotionally healthy, you can't be happy. Not in any true sense. And when I'm talking about that form of happiness, I'm really talking about contentment. You know, underlying contentment. Nobody can be content while at the same time being mired in emotional unhealth, emotional disorder, toxic environment. Continuing to put oneself into these toxic environments. And I knew I could only make decisions for myself couldn't make decisions for my family doesn't mean that I stopped loving them because I don't really want to have um, dealings with with my family and it's not total so for example it's not like I never drop in on my family or never do anything like that you know uh, there was a funeral here recently I went to the funeral and even at the funeral I could plainly see all the emotionally unhealthy interactions and dealings with each other that, that my family was having, my larger family, cousins, uncles, aunts, that sort of thing. And, and I just felt very relieved that I don't purposely and frequently expose myself to that anymore. First of all, when you're trying to get healthy, you're already primed and conditioned to think in certain unhealthy ways and to share certain unhealthy attitudes. When during recovery, you continue to regularly expose yourself to those sorts of influences and environments, it is very, very hard to escape to escape that and, and acquire clear thought, new perspectives, to understand really the poison that that is. So from very early on, it was total. I completely withdrew from, from my family had no interactions with them for years. Now on the other side of authentic recovery, I still don't expose myself to that because I don't enjoy it. It's not, it doesn't feel right to me and I don't enjoy it. It's, it's not pleasant for me, but I still love my family, right? So I do make allowances for going to visit them and things like that, but um, it's very rare and brief. It's usually pretty brief. Now, it used to be that I'd go and just spend a whole day with family. Uh, now it might be an hour or so, a couple times a year. That's about it. 
So think about that. Blood thicker than water. Family is everything. I'd like you to challenge that. Family is not everything. The most important thing is emotional health. Nothing matters more than emotional health. You can't even have a relationship with God if you're not emotionally healthy. Well, let's say this. You can't have a a healthy relationship with God if you're not emotionally healthy. You can't have a healthy relationship with yourself if you're not emotionally healthy. You can't have a healthy relationship with spouses, with workmates. Uh, Everything depends on, on being emotionally healthy. 